Hello there, and thank you for joining me back here in the Thousand Week Reich, in which we're playing as Albert Speer and the GGR. Uh, I'm your host, of course, Mr. Mocha Lover. I'm the host. And uh, yeah, let's continue on so with our strongman politics, in which we get more stability, less damage to garrisons, political power gain, and less green political power cost. Which is pretty good for us. Right now we're getting 1.5. Hope you're having a great day. A couple comments to get through, though. There goes People's Republic of Tajikistan, Central Asia. Probably not doing so well under the USSR, their influence from the USSR. Uh, but like a couple, like I said, a couple comments from yesterday. Apparently this region here, the Republic of Kapatho, Ukraine, has like, fr from the comments yesterday, someone said that they have like their unique language and customs, they're, they're a very unique people, I guess with the city of Kust as a capital. Cool, I know nothing about them. Uh, let's see. So, yesterday, I made the decision for us to go with defining Germany that we shall define what metropolitan and colonial Germany are. A lot of you guys recommended I just do everything will be Germany. And I kind of want to do that, but the reason I didn't choose the everything will be Germany path is because we're going to do that when he plays Goebbels. And I said maybe Goebbels will get that option. He probably won't since this is under the Speer tree. But if you look at the Sh the Goebbels tree or the Goebbels, the Goebbels, Kirby Goebbels tree, uh, you want to have a total war. Der totaler Krieg, as some might uh, say. Uh, it's still two minutes within the video, so I'm not sure if I can actually say that. I probably can. Who cares at this point? Fingerzeig. Ooh, the rotten people. The formation of Total War Office. So, whenever we play as Goebbels, because I promise you, I will play as Goebbels eventually. Hey, look, he's doing a little salute. Um, Albert Speer thought shall lead us. Cool. Uh, strongman politics. Yeah, he wants Total War, so I imagine um, that we'll probably go to war with everyone in the world. Like, when he plays Goebbels, which sounds like fun. But let's go back into the fold. I want to reunite the Commissariats as fast as possible. And then while we're at war, we can probably do civil engineering and stuff like that. So, back into the fold. The Reich's Commissariats in Eastern Europe have been allowed free Rome for far too long. Perhaps by launching some internal struggle or some slight show of force, we can bring them back into the line. Oh, let's hope so. I want to bring them back into the line so badly. They've had it too good for too long, not under us. As we're slowly trying to industrialize as well, my friends. Special projects, anti-partisan stuff, which makes sense. Consumer goods is getting better for us. 15, 15, 15, 4. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go and do some economy stuff. That's fine. I don't really care. We're losing some fuel. Are we still training our ships? Uh, maybe slightly. Dual purpose secondary guns. Some more light cruisers. Thank you very much. Uh, stop training. Train if you need to. Holy crap. I mean, Hildegard and Hildegard. Oh, two Hildegard women. Thumbs up for me, but I've got to choose Felix Graf because he looks the most interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, women, but Felix is still in my heart right now. Uh, let's see. What else do we, can we choose here? Eh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Ahead of time. Ahead of time. But this has a bonus, so we'll go with super heavy armor piercing shells. Cool. If that's the case, are we still trying to... Ooh, pilot exercises. Slowly getting more air XP. Not bad. What are you guys doing? Standing by, one, two, three. Uh, three guys right there, there you go. We've made a pretty good army so far. Just in case for the eastern portions, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Ooh, the Soviet Union declared war on the Mountain Republic. We're gonna set up a potential invasion of the Ukraine using our infantry. And reinforce rate, uh, sure, why not? We'll do reinforce rate, because we can. And for these tanky boys, well, they're gonna come, I don't know where they're gonna put them. I guess I'll put them against these guys over here. Let me go ahead and rearrange the line first. We have a lot of political power now. Man, through that one episode, we got we obtained 1,300 political power. Nice. Do our department. Uh, spy master. Cool. Might as well. Uh, but we are not doing bad now. Uh, let's get some more political pa favors. Political papers? Political favors would be nice. 1.72 a day. We could get more stuff around here. We could go total mobilization maybe eventually. Maybe. Ooh, that, that's pretty expensive though. 270. That's quite a bit. Oh, I want to take these guys out. I want to take them out so badly. Atomic research, nice. Protective stance for defenders. So you get, oh, tactics move is minus twenty five percent. Can use gas attack. Ah, oh, we're getting gassy in Germany. Ha, oh, I love it. Defender tactic damage, yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Uh, let's see. We can gas our enemies. Why not? Send some support. That'd be fine. Back into the fold, my friends. Back into the fold. Civil engineering. Civil engineering is important for any sort of areas in Germany. With Speer being the master architect that he is. He tends to focus on the details of development. Very good, very good. Oh, yes. War goal against all these guys. Oh, uh, let's see, the Republic of Ukraine. Oh, we can actually go to war with the Mountain Republic rebels. Ah, oh, 
Yes. But we can't go to war. Oh, restore Muscovy and Calcus in Ukraine? Are these the Ukrainian? Oh, this might be it. Nice. Just do all these. I don't care about political power. Just spend it. Spend it. I guess for now. I guess save some of it for now, but whatever. Um, Actually, with these guys, how strong are they? I could probably just use infantry. Half a million man. Okay, never mind. Fifth. Ugh, their template is only four militia. Okay, I can just use infantry for these guys. I'm not worried about that at all. For these guys, the free Russian movement. Ooh, the Altai's People's Republic. Good. Oh, they're allied to the Provisional Oblast of Moscow. Awesome. 30, oh, 35 divisions, that's it. These templates, it's 20 combat with. Well, that's not bad. White militias, 12 combat with. 12 com Okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about this then. These tanks are not perfect by any means, but they'll probably be more than fine. Transistor computers, cool. Uh, strap bombers, we honestly don't need them. So I'm going to use them. And they can blow up like radar and that stuff. Anything else like that maybe? I don't know. Uh, we'll put two on each. Oh, wait, can I do that? Oh, we can't. Oh, crap. Uh, well, you know, I'm not even going to use them then. Bye bye. Cool. All right, we got all this stuff. You might as well grab some of some more description at this point. It's almost 1960. Doesn't even matter. Grab another operative, Sophia. She's got a crazy smile, so she'd probably be pretty good at that and being count master of counterintelligence. So she got that crazy look on her. Ooh. Mm. Looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Medium support. All right, my friends. Uh, you know what? Instead of you guys doing that, come here. Oh, you're all fighters, huh? Well, that's okay. Actually, are we making any more close air support before we go to war? We actually can finally go to war, guys! This is so exciting! So exciting! Ah, uh, infantry. We should be really, really be using tanks. Uh, call all allies in. Ah, uh, call in our allies. Go, Gotenland! Did we win the battles? Did they lose? Yeah, it looks like they lost already. How many men have we lost? None. They've lost 10,000. Now this is a Reich we all know and love. Zero? 20,000, almost. Please keep it zero, please. That would be one of the greatest words we've ever had. Oh, yeah, my puppies want to give me stuff? Yeah, buddies, APCs, yeah, bring them on, bring them on. The more, the merrier. Uh, let's go and grab some more construction three, because we can. Oh, please don't have any casualties. Oh, uh, Gonland uh, has. Oh, no vegan? S oh, Nolden shot, no vegan is g not there. Hmm. Aerosols, cool. Just come back over here and grab some. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, concentrate industry two. Because we can. Uh, let's chemical research. Can I use more political favors? No, not yet. Reinhardt falls ill, so be it. <sighs> Nothing yet that I really care about too much. I'm going to go to war with who next? Azerbaijan, free Russian movement, which we'll kill off next. Oh, Gotland is doing so great. I would love to put everyone under Gotland. That'd be so cool if we could do that. 37,000 have been killed. Ah, uh, we have Kay. Oh. Kayiv. 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 Yes, please. Come on, keep it up. Oh, such a gamble. Are we going to get all of them? The Dnipro River. Kharkov. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yes, anti tank. Oh, we need anti tank. Maximilian. I'm s oh, Sophia, you got glasses on. Oh, but Maximilian's just a little better for now. Cool. Naval Department. Should have used my tanks, actually, just so we could steamroll these guys more quickly. Oh, we've still not taken any casualties. Come on, I want to restore Muscovine. Um, oh, yeah, I want to restore Muscovine, but Ukraine. Ukraine. Ah, we did it. I think we had the entire war where we literally took no casualties. Oh, it's good to be a Reich. Honestly, I'm tempted to not even, like, liberate the Ukraine. Because that looks beautiful. That looks so good. But I said we would re restore it, so... If I ever play Speer again in the Thousand Week Reich, I would definitely do everything as Germania, so. Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. Um, you have eh, a good amount of manpower. Please tell me this is all. Oh my goodness, this is not Cord. Uh, I guess that makes sense, seeing as you probably will need to have some time to put down the resistance again, so I can kind of see that. Let's see, Norvegian? Oh, when did you. I thought they weren't under us. When did they flip back? Okay, Banat. Uh, okay, well, I thought they weren't with us, so... Here we go. Let's just double-check to make sure that they actually got what they needed here to put down resistance. Did they get it? German support? Yes, they did. So we got to go to war with these guys next. Actually, what I'm going to do is probably do this. 
everyone here is going to do that first. I'm actually going to use you guys because you're all in the same faction here. I'm going to strike from the south with these tanks, and they're going to be kind of on steroids. Like, we're going to be really pushing for it. And here, actually, I will build you up a little bit more. One, two, three. And keep you at the top, just so that we can build, 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 build. Uh, expanding the Autobahn. Ooh! Wait, does that increase his infrastructure? But we've already been improving infrastructure. Economic recovery, let's do that. So recovering the ruined economy is, most, is the utmost priority of Germany. By enacting some changes to the economy, we will recover in no time. Beautiful. Let's get ready, guys. Let's get ready to go. Cancel on lease, that's fine. We got plenty of guns. Holy smacks. Smacks. Hmm. 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 Plenty of military factories. Cancel on lease, so be it. Uh, so be it. Oh my goodness, we need so many main battle tanks. And artillery pieces. And APCs. Oh my goodness. Death of... Ah, Mussolini is gone! Uh, who's... Italo, Balbo, and Siano are two frontrunners to replace Mussolini, huh? Oh, Umberto II. Cancel on these. Fine, whatever. I don't really care. So we'll probably won't do as well as we did last time with absolutely just shrucking everyone. But you never know. 68,000. Oh, seven divisions. 37 divisions. And you guys have 11. So, Social Democrats. So we're killing Social Democrats, Nazis, and Paternal Autocrats, and they're all working together. This is very weird. This is a very weird alliance. But, they are united in her hatred of us. Oh wait, why'd I do that? Just do this. Here we go! And... Did we win here yet? No, we've not attacked him yet. Oh, we need to call him the Ukraine. Right? Uh, did I not give you orders? I thought I gave you orders. There we go, now we can go in. There we go, we're gonna lose a few guys here and there. Um, air power wise, not bad. Memorial Day of the Movement, very good, very good. Uh, do you have anti-tank? Okay, Ukraine, I didn't know you had a stockpile of extra anti-tank, but I'll take it. Vladimir, very good. Oh, that's the capital of that one small little nation. We've lost about 4,000 guys, which is quite a few, but uh, casualty wise, we're doing looking pretty good. Oh, Hoth has been wounded, that's not good. Go, tanks, go, 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 and APCs. I don't want to forget the APCs. Uh, Heinz, eh, you're okay for now. Model? Nah, not really anything that I really care about. Anything here that we really need? And there goes a young Russian committee. We don't really need that either, so we're not going to do that yet. Nice. You guys, well, keep doing what you're doing. Push on right on ahead. Please don't let, them, let anyone stop you from what you have to do. It's good to be in the rack. Oh, you're not even in our faction. Can I call you in? I can. Alright, so they're not in our faction. But they're our puppet, are they? I can't imagine SS Oldenstadt and Norwegian would be independent of us. But maybe they are. Led by Lee. No, they're our puppet. They're not in our faction, though. That seems a little buggied. But okay. I mean, maybe they chose to come back to us. They probably chose to come back. That's so nice of them. That's so nice that they want to come back and join us. I feel so loved now. So loved. Ah, the Norwegians... Norwegians, they already they know what's good for them. Oh, we need more fuel. Oh, God, Lord. Uh, I don't want to lower that. I could get it from them. Mm, eh, screw it. We'll get it from them. Why not? We'll just get one set of 20 for them for now. And, ooh, operational assault. Yes, more breakthrough for the tanks. 20%. That's really nice. We want to get that tile back up there that we lost earlier. Recovering economy, Volkswagen support. Spending Lufthansa. Ooh. Well, let's do Volkswagen. Giving benefits to the Volkswagen and allowing them to make a profit is a great way to gain benefits from the market. More con look at that. Plus 15% more construction speed. We're going to be building, building, building forever. At this point, who else can we go to war with? we got to stop using so much fuel. Mountain Republic, Azerbaijan, and Don Cossacks League. Uh, I don't really want to buy any more of the, from this group. Encryption, nice. Grab some encryption. That definitely helped. Sion takes power. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If that's the case, I will have you guys come to the Cossacks League next. 
Just because I want the tanks to finish up there. Actually, I, I could probably use the tanks down here too, but are these guys allied with anyone or puppets? Eh, not really. Ah, there we go. The Russians are killing each other. And that's what we like to see. Portable radios? Well, we like to see portable radios as well. I'm going to get lined up because we're using quite a bit of fuel. What is using the most? The air. Oh my goodness. It's not even the tanks, it's just the air. They take so much fuel. You guys should be able to go whenever you want. They look like they're really struggling. Go right ahead. It's probably all that air power. Yeah. Go ahead. Put them out of the misery. Oh, gotten land. It pains me to do this, but I must need you. Nice. Grab fuel from them, too. We are desperately running out. Cancel them. Please don't lose that fuel. No. My goodness. Yeah, fuel is such an issue for us still. Of course, once we get Azerbaijan, it won't be too much of an issue. Uh, the tanks are going to have struggle quite a bit more, and the APCs as well. Uh, how have they not capitulated yet? Just take the capital if you can, or their new capital. That should probably be enough. There we go. Oh, no, that's Cossacks. Thank you. Nice. Three Russian movements, almost dead. I'll put you all down here as well. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize it, but they got even this. The USSR took Astrakhan away from them. Alright, well, whatever. Wait, do we not have the capital? Portable radios. Uh, we do have the capital, so... Okay, why not? Psychological Warfare, Construction 3. Grab some of this. Grab some oil processing, that'd be nice. And then after Concentrated Industry, we could do this stuff on the left. I want more fuel and rubber, though. Uh, I'll put, I'll put, that can wait. I want more rubber. We need rubber immediately, but extraction actually would probably help out first, too. Because we need more of everything, including fuel, so. Good, we got more fuel. Hopefully the tanks and stuff can move around a little bit more easily. But happy 1960, my friends. I didn't say yet, but happy 1960. Ah, there we go. There goes a free Russian movement. We got some Volkswagen support. Or we've supported them. Take everything we can for now. The Finns really, really did nothing for us. Restored Muscovy, my friends. And support for Speer, non-existent. So let's increase it. Ah, thank you. Kasha, Siegfried. Kasha. Nice. Beautiful, Muscovine in chaos. Return of stability. We will restore Muscovine. Well, we did it for you. And what shall do... Oh, this is not bad. Rail expansion. Reshaping the Valshau. Corporate, new corporate, new corporatism. Oh boy, Vol Partei Volkshalle, Germ Germanize Poland. Ooh, I kind of like that. Expand Lufthansa though. Speer seeks to support uh, Lufthansa's expansion to become the optimal European airlines, which would fly tours across Europe. While the British will certainly refuse to allow us their airspace, this move might turn us into the true masters of European travel. Ooh, double bonus for heavy aircraft. Very nice. Uh, we just need to go to war next. These guys will be. Oh, supplies probably in garbage. Straight trash down here, sons. Uh, just just go and go to war, because this is not looking good. I hope we can take out the USSR eventually. That'd be actually really, really cool if we could. Just in case, I'm going to move you guys back here so we don't get any more supply issues with the tanks and APCs, because we can't support that. Um, but yeah, we should be doing pretty okay around here. Just let the infantry just literally walk in. Do they have any divisions? They don't. Oh, so nice. They lost 4,000 guys, though, against the USSR. So we literally walk in and uh, get rid of them. Cool. Uh, where's Muscovine? I want to help out with Muscovine too, just in case. Uh, how's that not enough? Oh, we took the Astrakhan. That's right. Cool. I guess we could give that to the USSR, but why would we, as Germans, do that? Demanding our rightful land? Yeah. But let's get our soldiers on the front line first. This is probably way too many, but I'm not going to put tanks down here because it'd be nuts. That'd be too stupid of me to do that. Muscovine. Ostland, they're doing okay. They don't need us. Muscovine, just in case. Just in case. Invisible ink. Oh, look at that fuel. That's so nice. Alright, so over here, I don't mind getting stuff from uh, Ukraine for now. But you guys, I really don't want to have you raise your autonomy anytime soon. Because I don't trust anyone who's down here. 
Is it Hadris? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. I'm not sure if I trust him that much. Just saying. Just saying. Keep building this up too. That'll be good. You might be able to win immediately if we go to war with them. Let's go to Banner Rifle Territory first, though. Ah, oh, Transcaucasian Surrender. Apparently the Transcaucasian Democratic Federative Republic is a nation of ignorance, foolishly refusing our ultimatum of returning lawful, unlawful lands. Where the efforts of peacefully or peaceful diplomacy failed, we have no choice but to retake what's rightfully ours by force. Oh. Um... I guess we got Deropolis Tsukaro. Can we go to war with them? Oh, we can go to war with Azerbaijan. If that's the case, I'm going to have you guys. Oh, you guys are over there. Who's over here? You guys, 26 divisions, come over here. Mm, okay, well, that was weird. Heroes, Heroes Day, great. Encryption is awesome. Some better radar, sure. Go to war before we forget, or we run out of things to use. Yeah, against militia, we're doing pretty darn well. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, can I not take these guys out? Oh, we got the Caucasus back. Not sure why we can't get that. Let's go ahead and grab military construction three. That'd be nice. I mean, the infantry are doing great under Hans Speidel. He's becoming an infantry leader. Seems like all they have are militia divisions, which are fine. We're going to do some suicidal pills, which are fun. I don't know. Can I say that? Why not? Uh, I want to make some nukes, though. That'd be cool. Nuclear Germany? Why not? Yeah, that's why I never use militias. They're just too weak. They're not worth it. Just not worth it. Ooh, even more tank divisions. Yes, please. That does cost more fuel, so let's do that. Expanding Lufthansa. Awesome. And tax incomes. Oh, yeah. In exchange of government-supported expansion, enforcing tax income from these companies can grow the government's treasury. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Profits? Oh, the free market. Economic recovery. Ooh. Moderate, moderate leader. Bureaucratic reforms, regional stockpiles, SS infight. We still have SS infighting? Why do we still have that? I mean, you have gotten land, but you have still have Burgundy on the other side. Hmm. CIA, huh? Central Centralized Intelligence Agency, Formalized Doctrine, or Reformed Officer Corps, Central Research Development, Reform Recruitment System. You have Unified Regional Commands, which is pretty good. Wolfpack Training, Naval Stuff, Destroyer Fleet, Limit Naval Spendings. Oh boy. And then we have Glorious Führer, the Corporate State, Nothing, Speer's Balding Head, and Heroes Day, and then Economic Recovery. Oh, still not good, but hey, we're doing a lot better than we did before. Oof. If that's the case, I'm going to have you guys come over to... Uh, who do I want to do? Which guys um, yeah, over here. That would probably be the best. Never what them Soviet boys going to do. Please let me go to war with these guys. Oh, wait, no, we can just go restore Calcus. That's fine, then. Awesome. Now, we don't get Georgia. And I don't know why. I mean, it makes sense why... Why it doesn't make sense actually? Why we can't go to war with the Transcaucasian Development or Democratic Federative Republic? Yeah, we didn't go to war with them, or they gave us whatever land we wanted. But at the same time, like, well, we still can't go to war with them. I, I thought we were playing Germany. I thought we were playing Germany. Uh, we can do that because we can. Two hundred thirty-six is not bad. Keep expanding yourselves. Fifteen, 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 five. Oh, that research or the construction speed so good, so much better than before. All right, you guys looking good? Any sort of deficiencies? Hopefully not. Keep training for now. Fuel's looking great. Hopefully we don't need to import any more. Thank you very much, my puppets. Good. Suicide pills? Why not? Plastic explosives are next. Oh, that is not looking ideal. There you go. That's a little better. Uh, Caucus. How are you doing, Caucus? Under Shikadans. Shikadans. Oil field of the Reich? Nice. They have no stability. They're a very unstable place in the Nua Ordung, Mayday. Very nice. We got some Rux Commissariat's Air Force, Raw Materials, Local Air Force, and Theoretical Fighters. Cool. Thank you, workers. New SS structure, huh? Speed and resistance mission effects. Cool. Return of the Caucus. They should have that done immediately. 
Restart oil production. That should happen immediately. Repair the oil wells. Priority in production. Looking pretty good. Enrich the Reich. Restart oil shipments. Yes, please. And restart normal functions. We, they probably had that. Plastic explosives. Thank you. Diplomatic training. Very nice. Chemical protections. I love chemical protections. Uh, it's 60, 60, 60, 60. Rubber. Always get your rubber. Nice. Because we could use more. We could always use more. 15. Keep making it. Keep making it. Wow, we got some people doing some bad stuff around here. That ain't ideal. To roll. Uh, let's make two at a time. Let's see. Tax income's nice, nice. And profits of the free market. The free market is making us immense amount of wealth. This will greatly improve our chances to recover from the economic failure, and German citizens can enjoy the benefits of a freer market. Hey, at least we went to war. We finally went to war and did stuff. That feels so good, doesn't it? Going to war always feels good, right? Don't quote me on that, please. Uh, Panzer Divisions. You're looking a little weak here. Ooh, economy first, so that sucks. Now it's gone. Uh, can we make these guys 40 combat width? This might be overkill. And it actually, it hurts our organization a little bit more as they keep throwing more and more on. And what if we did... Uh, SP artillery. That's light SP artillery, though. So, I guess not. Where does that mean? 42. As long as it's around 40... Wait, hold on. What is that combat width? What is going on? 34.536. 34.5... That is very awkwardly... Oh, this was because of this, probably. I did mechanize instead of APCs. Okay. That looked very weird. Woof. There we go. Now it's going to ruin everything we have here. And we're out of... Hey, we're also out of Army XP. Cool. Comparted Guidance Radar. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, wait, more ships. Ooh, another carrier. You know what? I think it's time we might consider... I was thinking about making some... Uh... A new task force for this main fleet, but whatever. Airman train, or I mean not train, but repair. That'd be good. Anything over here? Purchase political. Can we go higher than high support? That'd be nice. Okay, let's get some chemical research. We might as well. A little more research speed is not bad. Interrogation techniques. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm avoiding cryptology because I really don't care for cryptology anymore. Diplomatic decisions. Help out Burgundy because I could probably use that. Uh, how about the caucuses? Caucuses. Resistance, resistance. They even have Azerbaijan. That is so good. That is so good. Look at the new Oldung. Old Nung, I mean. I don't know why no vegan is, is it under us, but we have Burgundy. This is looking great. And last time, I think Turkey took out, or was taken out by Italy, which was really quite shocking. It sucks that we don't have the, these guys down here. I really want them under us. Ugh. I really wish we could have them. But at least, my goal is to at least get through the rest of the focus trees before we end it. So, Rex Commissariat Ost Europa. Ooh. So we got that going, we got all this going already. We can't do this because this is a little bit ahead of time. We've already done all of this. Oh, let's do this with edge detection for slightly better radar. So we can make better, slightly slightly better radar. And next up, we shall do this one. So centralization of Ost Europa is an outlandish concept with virtually no support. But if the situation in our Rex Commissariats allow it, we should be able to launch this experiment just to see if there's any benefits to this monster of a conception. They will be consolidated into one single Reich's Commissariat. That sounds painfully troublesome. That sounds amazing, but really like a bureaucratic nightmare. Oh my goodness, that sounds awesome. Ost Europa. Jesus Christ. I don't want to say I love Nazis, but uh, that sounds like an amazing idea. <laughs> Holy crud. And the Russian Republic is doing amazing against the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. I put Usually I put my money on the USSR, but... Zegarev is doing great. Oh, Jewish communities. Are they getting support from someone else? No? I can send attache. Uh, I can't send volunteers. Why can't I send volunteers? I'd send them to the commies to help push these guys back. They have a million manpower. These guys have a third of a million. They're about the same in, uh, industrial capabilities. We're done here. Uh, we're done with our air doctrine. Hey, we can get some better planes. There we go. Holtons. Holtons. Let's see. Army-wise... Let's see. 20, oh, they only have 20 to 46 divisions. These guys, these guys have more than them. Whoa, what is going on? Of course, then again, just because it's more, you actually have more fielded manpower than them, probably. Yeah, you definitely probably do. Airplane? No Navy, of course. Up to 35,000 manpower in the field. There's no reason why you should be losing. What is going on? Mass production is nice. Uh, Hansi, uh, let's get the... Oh, those are fighters. 
Those are like strategic bombers. Whoops, my bad. These are fighters. Ooh, look at that. That looks sexy. Well, that's not quite the plane that were that was look over here, but whatever. Not quite the same plane. We still have high support, so there's no point in doing any more than uh, compartment guidance radars. Cool. Uh, helicopters. We'll get some Hensha FL 295S. Nice. Because we can. Chemical research. When removed chem faculty facility. Uh, I really don't want to hurt my civilian workshops, but one, two, three, four, five, six, six and two thirds. That ain't bad. Actually, how's their GDP looking? Because right now, they're 317 for America. 253, our growth is higher than America's, it seems like. And China and French are doing pretty well. So we gotta, can we, uh, please, please let me go to war with France. Please. I'd love to. I would love to go to war with the French. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, we're trading quite a bit too. That's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost seven lines of production going on at the same time. So good. I could use political favors. Um, consumer gets 10%. So why would we want to use this? If you get slightly more political power, minus 5% consumer goods factories, just when you get less support. And then I have to do this immediately, so we lose 10%. So, so for a time you lose my, you get minus 5%, then you lose 10%. That doesn't seem like a very balanced thing for us. Uh, next up, we shall do... We want to do this one. Ah, uh, closer support that. Hein... Heinke P.2420. Cool. And another focus. Why not? Expanding the Autobahn. So the Autobahn must cover all parts of Germany for it is to, for it to be a truly effective way of transportation. Hopefully you don't actually lower my infrastructure. That would be very bad. Oh my gosh. Gosh? Oh my lord. Oh, Rosenberg, you're back. Rosenberg. Hmm. Hmm. New army. Loyal few. Local hair. Armament operational assault. Great. Now we get to use training. Oh, we get 2% more population. Look at that. We actually get manpower. Industry. I'm going to go with industry because we're actually making infrastructure at the same time. So infrastructural reserve is good. Oh, what? Oh, wait. We can... Wait, we can dissolve it? Wait, why would we want that? This looks beautiful. I love map painting. Why would we get rid of this beautiful thing? This is obviously a creation that only the Nazis could think of. Why would we get rid of such a thing? Oh my goodness. Colonial repression. Wow, minus 70% recruitable population factor. Uh, new SS makes sense. Basic Slavic education. Can't get them thinking too much. Uh, reproduction. They they can have babies. They can have babies. Need of officer corps. Production quotas. Uh, what else? Raw materials. Reichskommissariat Air Force. Uh, we got all kind of more generic stuff. Uh, theoretical bombers, theoretical close air support, the Eastern European chaos, oh my goodness. While the plan that outlined the formation of Ost Europa will sound on paper, in reality, Roxcomissariat Ostland or Ost Europa is a disaster. With complicated bureaucracy and a lack of oversight on remote parts of the Roxcomissariat, the government is overwhelmed by the sheer amount of work, and a single body cannot effectively manage the situation in each sector of this massive Roxcomissariat. But as long as Ost Europa serves as a cheaper alternative, Germania will certainly allow it to exist. And helps speed things up by not having to do stuff. National confusion. Ends in next year. Nice. Oh, Emma. Hmm. Maria. Hildegard. Maximilian. I'm not feeling Maximilian right now. I got... Is that a gun she has? Is that a gun she has in her hand? Or something. I like the look. I like the look. I like that look too. Let's go with her. I'm basing everyone I have almost on their looks instead of qualifications, which is how we should do things, right? Don't quote me on that either. Uh, Warsaw must be destroyed before our task. Oh man, we get cores. Railroad expansion? Yes, please. Rail is an important tool for transporting large amounts of goods and military equipment. By improving and standardizing our rail systems across all of Greater Germany, we can improve our flow of supplies massively. Yes, please. Confederal districts. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I want to dissolve that. Are you kidding me? That's, that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. Uh, chemical research, why not? Regional integration, why not? Improved worker conditions, 5%. That's pretty good already. Uh, let's send them some support down here. And then, yeah. And also, Europa, we're going to do that too, just in case. For them. They probably have some areas out here that are probably not core. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's grab some of this. Cool. I'm going to let time go on just a little bit, just because research doesn't probably matter too much. I don't imagine, or I can't imagine, that there'd be a ton more things for us to do in this campaign, because we're running out of focuses now. 
And, uh, yeah, I, I want to make sure we can do as much as possible. Fighter 2s. Um, anything else? Cast 1. What are these Hans jets? Oh, transport helicopters. Mmm. Cruiser hulls? Maybe better cruiser hulls? What else do we have here? Fighter 2s, Fighter C1, Scout helis? We can maybe make some of those. I don't mind making maybe some of that. There you go, if we ever get there, of course. Anything else? Early helicopters? No. Transports? No. Strap bombers? Probably not either. Cool. Main battle tanks are beautiful creatures. Love them, love them, love them. Rail expansion. I'm tempted to do what? Stability, electronics, shipping specialists, construction companies. 15% more construction speed is nothing to laugh at whatsoever. Plus 45%. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven again. Nice. Especially as we're going to get a massive boost, or 10% boost, to building stuff up. That's fine. Uh, let's get that research going and then get the next focus going. Good. Cass, I love Cass so much. It's so effective when you can use it. Uh, let's see. A series of infrastructure improvements will be made from Copenhagen to Tyrol. The value of slave labor? Why not? The slave economy is viable and our reliance on human labor will also enrich German culture and our economy. It's time to expand the slave economy to all aspects of the German economy. More construction speed and more damage garrisons. I love it. It reminds me of old World Blues. <sighs> Very good. Excessive conscription. Uh, we probably are going to be mobilizing 2% more, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but if you excuse me, I will be right back. My apologies about that, but I had to go use the restroom real quick. And we are back, of course. Oh, you didn't leave. I left, but I came back. But Rex Commissariat Aust Europa just is... I love this so much. They have no stability. They almost have no war support. Uh, they are on service by requirement at 14,000 manpower. Woo! They got a lot of oil, though. Mmm. Falk Wolf? Yes, please. Uh, we can grab interceptors. That's fine. I don't really care at this point, because we're probably not going to be able to go to war with anyone else yet. Or maybe even again. I don't know. What happens if we dissolve, uh, oh, oh, dissolve it? I don't want to, obviously, but, hmm. Uh, more research speed, why not? Oh, now we got that last focus done. We're going to be building up infrastructure super quickly. Look at that. Awesome. And it's only going to take, like, three, well, slightly more than three weeks to finish the next one for the Southern Jutland. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so nice. And we'll help out Burgundy as well if we can. You know what? We're gonna build, 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 build. Our GDP will be the greatest in the world. We will show America the effects of Spaism. Oh, look at all this infrastructure we gotta build. The Germany and her colonies and allies will be known as just one big old autobahn. Pretty much, that's gonna be it. One massive autobahn. Ooh, there we go. Uh, let's grab some of this. Infantry anti-tank 5. At the same time, let's grab... Uh, ooh, we'll do that some more. There you go. So we got one. We might as well do a Saxon at the same time. And it seems like we could do the next focus. Let's reshape Walschau. Well, the destruction of Walschau, there's plenty of room for Germans to reshape the city into Albert little, little liking. Very good. Political power, stability, start of the Popst plan. Oh, we can't do that yet. Requires expanding the Autobahn. Oh, I want to do that. But we can't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. I have to wait? I don't want to wait. I'm impatient. Tax subs, why not? It doesn't matter. We're going to research as much as we possibly can right now. Uh, CV2s. There we go. Come on. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, the value of slave, slave labor. Uh, let's do this one now. Nice. Since his apartment, uh, appointment back in the late 40s, Speer served as Hitler's favorite engineer and manager. While the Germania project did not include any slaves as construction workers, Speer utilized a great amount of slave labor to produce the necessary material for his grand structures and continued the usage of slaves after his plan was completed. From experience, Speer has realized the true value of slave labor, seeking to expand these programs even further to enable Aryan workers to perform more skillful tasks, leaving the undesirable positions of society to the slaves. In Speer's plan to expand slave labor, he details the reclassification of slave laborers into assets, which are allowed to be sold to corporations in the near future. Thank you, Fair Ah, uh, It makes your heart feel warm and a little questionable when you say stuff like that. Just a little, just a little. Let's see, is everyone okay? Is everyone pretty much regular to this point? Let's hope so. 
We wouldn't want any degenerates in our army here, would we? Wow, we need 12,000 and 1,000 pieces. Oh my goodness. We can use more of that rubber. So let's keep building ourselves at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 plus. Uh, I think at that point, as much as I want to build more infrastructure, build some more refineries. We get a little bit more rubber from that. Hero's Day is gone. We get plus 3 for every single one, which is nice. Uh, anything else here? We can do that one. That'd be fine. Uh, real evidence. Lots of damage to garrisons. Overseas testimony. Meh. Not really worth it. Occupation policies. Cavalry. Huh. So you guys are still doing what you need to do. Can I replace you with... I cannot. We are out of army XP. So sad. Let's do Copenhagen Tyrol Highway. Next... Oh, project. The Backlischkeit. Ooh. This one looks very interesting. The start of a series of mo model cities development, dubbed as Project Wirklich Kite. Uh, it is a series of development plans crafted by Speer. They all aim to shape Germany into an Aryan paradise. Wow. And before we click on that, we got to get the other one done first. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a, the last but long final video. This is going to be a long one. Ooh. Let's go ahead. Start of the Pops plan. The uh, crystal plan is right shape Walschau into an ideal German city. This plan was ignored by the Hitler administration, did not see any progress during his reign, both Speer as the leader of Germany. The Pops plan is finally being realized under Speer's personal directive. Wow. Crews of unpaid slave workers and soldiers are now demolishing this old polar city, trying to replace it with an Aryan city. Uh, before we continue reading, let's go and click on Destroy Holes. Under the objectives of the Pops plan, majority of the Polish built neighborhoods are planned to be completely removed, with all the local non Aryan residents expelled from Walschau. A large Part that books houses to replace a royal group. Oh my goodness, that sounds like... Well, it doesn't, it doesn't sound good for the Poles, to say the very least. But hey, what you could build is a massive Vox, uh, Volkshall. They didn't need space anyways. We'll put them in Nova Polska. Oh wait, this is not TNO. Oh. Well, that's okay. They'll find a way home. Probably. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Heavy ship Poles, cool. Let's grab some competent sonar. Awesome. Yeah, let's build up all the oil reserves down here. That's going to be super important. Railway scheme construction. Oh, that's sad. We ran out of our infrastructure boost. Oh, now we can't produce infrastructure nearly as fast. Big sadness. Now Speer is sad. Spe sad Speer. See, this is what we do with Eastern Europe. Spain joins the Mediterranean Pact. Interesting. All right, well, good for them. I mean, I'm not sure what, if that's going to do anything because the Toronto Accords did nothing against me when I went and reconquered all of Eastern Europe. So, to me, they seem like big, like, nothing burgers. You know, uh, if they really wanted to, they could have done something against us, but they chose not to, so we do them pretty well. Just in case, make sure we got radar everywhere where it's super important. So this way we never get found out. Or we never lose any intelligence. Even in the heart of Moscow. Moscow. We should get some too. Cool. And we have about 30, 20, 3 weeks left for that one. That's not too bad. Oh wait, can we do... Disillusion of the Iberian Pact. Oh god. Well, interesting. Bye bye. Let's see, we'll do that one. Chemical research. More research speed, and eh, we don't really need that. Using political favors, we don't really need that either. Uh, just let me go to total mobilization, please. We got about nine days left, so let's go and look at the next one. Uh, let's do this one. So, from the north to the south, by connecting both parts of Europe, can increase the flow of northern products into southern regions and allow us to transport Swedish goods to southern parts of Germany more effectively. A series of infrastructure improvements uh, will be made from Copenhagen to Tyrol. I'm already ahead of y'all. Oh, expanding Germania, look at that. Under the policies laid by Speer, Germany as a nation deserves eternal glory, which means the pursuit of enormous architectural projects that can outlast every single civilization on Earth. Construction projects that can serve the generations of Aryan, all built with one vision under Albert Speer's guidance. Crazy, but let's do it. Expanding Germania. Lose 150,000 manpower. Lose 5% consumer goods, but when we're done, they get 3 civilian factories, 6 building slots, and land forts set to level 10, as well as anti-air. Oh my goodness. And that's a expansion. That would look amazing. Like, no matter how much we might not like Nazis, or maybe even if you like Nazis, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Uh, we'll get some more time industry, but that would look amazing. Oh, the little, oh, Metropolis. That'd be so cool. Deutsches Stadion? 
Ooh, let's see. engineers first. That's cool. Uh, no, let's grab some of this. Maintenance company three. Thank you very much. Oh, Stadion. So we lose seven thousand manpower, and we get the event. It has been declared fully completed by Speer, world's largest stadium. It's inspired by the Panathenaic Stadium of Athens. Capacity to hold 400,000, 405,000 spectators, with five tiers of seats that are filled with lifts. Glorious. After ending the ceremony, 16 spectators were trampled to death upon exiting. Glorious. Oh, that sounds... God, this is just... Ah, Speer is crazy. Speer is nuts. The Führer Museum. With some manpower, that's fine. So, until the passing of the Führer, this concept of Führer Museum was never truly realized, but with an architect at the helm, Speer has finally finished the, museum, the Führer Museum project, with all types of Nazi-endorsed art pieces being displayed for the public viewing, wishing to turn the Führer's hometown, Linz, into a cultural uh, capital of Europe. In addition, Speer just this Führer Museum with the mausoleum of Hitler's parents and the Führer himself. Due to the fact that the Speer, the public can only witness Hitler's coffin behind a glass chamber, some speculate that the chamber hosts an empty coffin, with the Führer's whereabouts unknown to the people of Germany. Ah, art. My favorite type of art. Uh, let's see, anything else over here? Uh, Marines, cool. Uh, what about shipperinos? Corvette hulls? Yes, please. That's actually really cool. All these little building things we can make, I like it. I like it a lot. Actually, how's rubber doing right now? Uh, about the same. Copenhagen Tyrol Highway. Uh, let's see, a series of infrastructure projects will be made from Brest and Moscow. Grand, project Grand, the second phase of Shpia's ideal project. This one aims to finish all major ambitious projects that are planned. Yes, give me more projects. I want more, more, more. We need more refineries, though. Boom, boom, boom. Because this will give us, like I said earlier, three for each one, and plus 48 fuel from each refinery, which is not bad. Daily gain is 4.3 thousand. Uh, max consumption is 54.9 thousand a day. So basically, if we had max consumption for 10 days straight, we would still barely have fuel for the next day. A little bit for the next day. That's insane. Uh, let's come back over here. Diplomatic decisions. How about Burgundy? How about Ost Europa? Uh, probably not Norwegian. They probably don't need that. Oh, expanding Germania. Yes. Civilian factories. Yes. How much political power do we get a day? We get 1.75, which is pretty nice. Anyone else is going to be done soon? You'll be done first with maintenance companies, which would be nice. We only have four army XP, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. And we have a few more weeks left with Project Grand, but we're pretty much going as fast as possible. Are there any world conflicts going on right now? Germani expansion completed. Oh, my goodness. Hitler's statue named the Statue of Ariel and is proudly on the Volksplatz out in the Volkshall. With a height of 95 meters, it's slightly higher than the Statue of Liberty. While this might be considered petty by some, this is just another way for Germans to express their supremacy over the Americans. Glorious. Uh, oh, the Russian-Soviet war is still going on. That's right. All right, the uh, Russian, the killing each other. Look how many divisions they have, probably, compared to the Russian Republic and the Mongols and the Altai Union. Just nuts. And they're, they're not even losing yet. That's nuts. That's just, oh my goodness. I'm not even sure what to think of it now at this point. Maintenance companies are nice. Reichskommissar at Osteuropa is beautiful. Next up, we'll, we'll do probably uh, this one. Cool. Remember the beer hall? Great. Great. And we have this one left. So we'll go through what first? Uh, we can do that. Eh, we can do some more of that. Why not? We can probably don't need to see political actions. We don't need this one. We don't need that one. And we'll do this one next. Two days. Forget holes. We'll come in next and do some long range subs. Beautiful. And we shall do new corporatism. Uh. Ah, the Breitz Turban Line, a trans-European rail system that is monitor monitored by Germany. This line crosses from Brest to Moscow with potential to be expanded into Iberia or even the Italian regions. Uh, that'd be really cool. Purchase political papers, of course, there's nothing else. Ooh, Speer Project Munich, 150 political power. Oh my goodness. More stability in the renovation of Munich. So, uh, due to Munich's special status within the Reich, it was awarded two honorary titles by the Führer himself, known for its significance on German arts and the birth of National Socialism. Speer has ordered the complete renovation of Munich, hoping to turn it into a masterfully crafted model city. One of the highlights of this project decreed by Speer includes a grand sculpture depicting the martyrs of the Beerhall Putsch of 23, sacrificing themselves to be the blood flag. Speer also planned to have each and one and every one of the martyrs' biographies carved onto the foundations of this grand sculpture as a way to remind Germans about their past struggles before achieving National Socialism. <sighs> Man, they are... Crazy, but interesting. Crazy, but interesting. Field Hospital 3. Uh, Logistics 3, cool. Even further less supply consumption. At some point, they'll be not even using any sort of supplies at all. That is a dream. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Ah, that's so nice. Wait, one, one, two, three, four. Eight. Almost plus one. Almost plus one. All right, so what, what do we do this? Nordstone? Oh, wait, they're not in our faction. What? Wait, so we have to have them in our faction. Mm. Ooh, you know what? I don't want to do this, but since this is the final episode, so I can't read... Oh, well, I still will be able to read comments if they don't like me using console commands. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do about that then. Mm hmm. I don't mind, like, annexing these guys and then releasing them. Happy 1962. Maybe we can annex and then release them? Hopefully? Is in faction? I'm not sure what to do then. I don't think there's a puppet option or puppet console command. Uh, I, I want to see what happens here. Project Hamburg? The Velsenstadtplan. Because that's a little glitch right now that they're not under us, so... I don't know. Uh, atomic capabilities. Although Germany does have the ability to create atomic bombs, Germany never, will never have the skills nor technique to produce materials and bombs consistently. Albert Speer aims to fix this problem by hiring atomic experts all around Germany. I really don't want to do this, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Ooh, long range sub school. Go ahead and grab some of this. Medium caliber stuff. Alright, so I could I I don't know I don't know if there's a puppet option. I, I don't want to use console commands, but it looks like we're gonna have to. TDE bug to figure out what the tag is. Annex nor I should have realized that. TDE bug. Please let me know that uh please let me I can occupation Can I release some? Please let me release some. Please tell me that was okay. Hmm. Uh well crud. I annex them, but I can't release them. Can I at least do the projects? Oh there we go. O occupation Norway, there we go. Direct rule? Oh. Well then, uh... There... Well, that, maybe that was dumb. That was dumb for me to do. Why don't I get an option to release them, though? I mean, we're basically the same place now. I can't release them? Hmm. Here's another idea. You know, I will be right back. Alright my friends, so I figured it out. There is a console command in which we can choose to basically get whatever we want done. Uh, I've gone back a little bit earlier, it is only February 14th now. So we can finally do this and see what happens. And then Project Hamburg and see what happens as well. Dawn of the Versandstadt. Oh, Hamburg is redeemed, cool. Look at that. And console commands, I use the decision dot no checks console command to get that done, so. Cool. So, after the expansion of Germania, Speer has announced his plans on expanding Hamburg as a Versandstadt, the capital of German shipping. Speer aimed to construct multiple enormous dockyards with the goal of turning Hamburg into a national dockyard. It's very, very cool. Uh, he went and did went the extra mile and handcrafted each dockyard's overall designs. That's really cool. One of the dockyard's entrances will feature two sets of statues, one with Hitler and the other one being a statue of Speer. That's actually really, really cool. That can actually, you know, mold, I guess, yourself onto into dockyards, I guess. That's kind of cool. God, it's just, it's just craziness. Straight up craziness. But I guess we kind of like it, you know. Why would we not like it? You know. I mean, enjoying this as much as we possibly can with the craziness that could happen. Or could have happened. Military police is next. Very nice. And then after this one... Nuclear technology, 300% bonus. Speer's era. It's only 14 days. That's nice. Speer's proven that he's the greatest leader that Germany has ever seen. Glory to Speer. We get political power. We get some stability. We got glory to the heroes. Uh, very nice. And after this, uh, I know this is a very long video. We have one, two, three, four more focuses. That's 56 days. 56 days. 140 days. Good lord. Another 56 days. New corporatism. Ah, blood money. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, we could probably save this one for last just because Germania International Airport. It's not super important. It's really not. Uh, you know what? Cool. I mean, I'm thinking about using... You know what? I've already used console commands once. And there's nothing else that's really going to happen here. So, I guess we... I'm just going to use console commands for now just to get through this. Auto-complete. There you go. Just to see what happens. Because there's nothing else that we can really do with this campaign. It's pretty much over at this point. So... Germania International Airport, a grand civilian airport that can harbor thousands of travelers, a beautiful piece of German engineering, and Speer's own pet project. Beautiful. Cool. Do we get any sort of events? Anything about this at all? No. And I don't really like using console commands, but sometimes you have to. Uh, new corporatism. Okay, well, we don't have to read any sort of description there. Cool. More daily political power, less consumer goods, more damage garrisons. Cool. And anything else about that? No. Do we get anything else around here? Chemical research? Uh, no. Really nothing here. Uh, the Pox Volks 
Partai Vox Hall. The People Party's Hall, a grand hall in the new upcoming model city of Walshall, aims to set in place of the Royal Castle is aimed to be set in the Royal Castle of Warsaw and serve as a major transportation hub. Two civilian factories, great. And then we have Germanized Poland. With the local population destroyed, we can now begin the long process of Germanizing Poland, and in turn, realizing Speer's dream of former Polish model cities. And let's take the focuses off, and see if we get any sort of events, any pop-ups regarding all the decisions we have made, because that looks like that is the end of the focus tree, and probably the end of this campaign. Uh, is there anything else we could do? I'll be honest, it's a little weird seeing that the USSR owns a little bit of this territory over here. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm glad we still have Malvigan under here. But they're still not under us, for some god-unknown reason. Oh, they're under us, but they're not our faction, for some reason. But, uh, I guess that's going to be the campaign, my friends. It's definitely been an interesting one. And the UK just recognized the Delhi government. Maybe I was supposed to wait, uh, t to do all those focuses, and maybe we'll get some sort of event, maybe? But at the time of this recording, I'm running out of time. Oh, the Nordstrom Project. So, supported by the Kriegsmarine and Hitler himself, Nordstrom was planning to become the German Singapore with a heavy focus on naval matters and trade. Despite being a, despite being a metropolis, Nordstrom functions like a naval base with a sizable population. Its sole goal is to function as a gateway to the North Atlantic. Situated near Trondheim, Nordstrom will be, was put on hold when Germany's economy stagnated and was finally completed after Albert Schwer issued orders to resume the plans. Packed with about 300,000 German settlers, Nordstrom's future is bright and will play a vital role in Germany's control over the Atlantic. Cool. I mean, I mean, yeah, we could probably wait to get all that stuff done. Uh, let's, we'll give it a couple, a few more days just to get Project Hamburg done. Because after that, I don't see, like, there being anything else. I don't think there's any other focuses we could do. Really, the only other event might be going to war with the uh, Russians. But, eh, I don't know if that would actually happen since... I'm not sure how far they can go with the focus. Because they're already doing construction engineering. I don't think they can actually go to war with us. They'd, it could end Altai. Uh, Altai. Uh, them, Novos Sibirsk, the Soviet border. I think for them, their main goal is to just get all of Russia back that's not Muscovine, or everything east of Muscovine, but. The dawn of the Vaslandstadt is no longer an honorary city town, but now a realized dream. It's no, formerly known as Hamburg, but it's basically our little great place right here. Beautiful. Look at all those dockyards. Whoa. It might be questionable on rather Vedenstadt's shipping needs would ever reach near its reach near its capacity, Speer rebukes such doubts by claiming its value in a future situation, calling himself the architect with foresight. Nevertheless, Hitler and Speer's statues are proudly stare into the sea and the soul of all of Germania. But that's going to be the campaign, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.